According to some reports, the government is considering fragmenting the crucial millimeter wave band for 5G services to meet the claims of satellite communication service players. Bharti Airtel's OneWeb and Elon Musk's Starlink are making an entry into India's satellite space. These companies use low earth orbit satellites to provide high speed broadband internet services around the world. The special focus on remote areas where deploying mobile towers or fiber optic cables is difficult. But the proposal has not gone down well with telecom operators in India, including Reliance Geo. They believe that a such a move would reduce the total spectrum available for telecom services. But let us first understand what the crucial MM wave is. Millimeter wave band or MM wave refers to a specific part of the radio frequency spectrum between 24 gigahertz and 100 gigahertz. While the current available networks work optimally on lower frequencies, 5G makes it possible to allocate higher bands above 24 gigahertz for telecom infrastructure. This spectrum has a short wavelength apt to deliver superior speeds and low latencies. The current proposal seeks to allocate only the spectrum between 24.5 to 28.5 GHz in the millimeter wave band to 5G mobile operators. Now let us find out why MM wave band is so coveted. 5G services can be deployed using lower frequency bands. These bands cover great distances and are proven to work efficiently even in environments with interference, common in urban settings. But data speeds on these bands could not hit the peak potential of 5G. For true 5G experience, MM wave band is essential. Though the high frequency bands cover smaller areas and are prone to interferences, such bands are capable of carrying much more data with low latency compared to lower frequency bands. The Department of Telecommunications earlier this year allowed telecom service providers to test 5G networks on various bands, including the MM wave band. However, the allocated spectrum for network trials was limited to around 4 GHz in 24.25 and 28.5 GHz frequency. Telecom service providers are demanding at least 1 GHz of MM wave spectrum per operator to begin with, and an additional 1 GHz as the network matures to build an efficient 5G network ecosystem. With 4 players in the market and limited 4 GHz spectrum available, even a small portion of spectrum allocated outside the telecom sector would create fragmentation and reduce the total spectrum available for telecom services. The allocation of MM wave band will also be critical to satellite communication sector. According to the Delhi-based Satellite Industry Association, SATCOM players have made substantial levels of investment and any regulatory uncertainty with regard to the full 27.5 to 29.5 GHz spectrum band would put the entire satellite communication sector at risk. Now, it will be interesting to see how the government strikes a balance. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.